Hi, we're just jumping right in. <laughs> did you miss us? I know, I hope you did. Oh my <clears throat> gosh. I think, was that really loud? What I just said, because now that, now that Sam's home every two seconds, she's going, Mom, you're screaming. She does tell you that a lot. She, you were like, it's because Justine's screaming too. Did, <laughs> did I say that? Anyway, hi, <laughs> I'm Justine. Oh, sorry. Hi, I'm Lori. Um, we're at um, Skein Yarn Shop, and this is our podcast that we've we've had a little break from. It's yeah. been a it's been a minute. It's episode seventeen of the Skein Scoop podcast, and this is Monday, April eleventh. Mm -hmm. So thanks so much for joining us. We miss you guys. You know, it's been not quite a month, but almost a month. Wow, that's too long. That's way too long. It was my fault. I got stuck in Florida. It wasn't totally your fault. We could have. I mean, I, I mean. It's easy for me to blame it on that, but I'm not going to. No, it was definitely my fault. We were no, in Florida was... for longer than we were supposed to be. Well, I'm yeah, home. you got stuck. I also want to thank everybody for the birthday wishes. So I was so floored and inundated with messages and stuff from people, and it was so nice. So thank you. Because people are so nice. I know. And it's almost your birthday. Oh, yay. So soon. Uh, double nickels. Oh, somebody said, wait. Did you hear someone say that yesterday? Um, I did not hear someone was, say oh, yesterday. Someone, oh, no, someone I, at Becca's and Josh's house last night. I, I assume when people say things, it's at the yard store that I heard it. But really, it was um, at Becca's house yesterday. My friend Becca, her stepmom was like, I'm about to be double nickels. And I was like, what is that? It took me a really long. I never had heard that before. Is okay. that a saying? Yeah. So. Okay. If you haven't figured it out, it means, yikes. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Yikes. Yeah, we're both Aries, and we got, oh, we got stickers that you have yet to actually. Oh, it's because Kemper posted those, and I was like, I want one of those. And she's like, what's Lori's sign? And I was like, I think she's an Aries, too. I'm, I didn't realize we were both Aries. Because I think, like, a few days after your birthday, it switches, right? I think you're right about yeah. that, yeah. Because I think it starts, like... <laughs> March 21st or... I don't follow all that stuff, but anything that I've ever heard about what an Aries is, is totally me. I feel like it's the same for me, except but we're, we're not so the same different. At all. <laughs> Which is why it works. Hmm. Oh, weird. Yeah, I was really, really happy when Justine got back. I'm just saying. I was and really happy. I think everybody back. else was too. I was happy to be back. I was not cranky. I think if you ask anyone, I wasn't. I wasn't cranky that you were gone. Did anyone, did anyone say I was cranky? No, no one said you were cranky. At least not to me. No, I wasn't. I wasn't cranky. Um, they did say on oh Saturday, because Lori was gone for on Saturday, and somebody was like, she must be so glad that you're back, because <laughs> the, the stuff needed to get put away. <laughs> on Saturday, uh, I went behind the register, and I just went like this to all the post-it notes. I can't. I put them in a pile. You did. You cannot. You neaten with things up. Post it notes. <laughs> I'm good about vacuuming. You. You I know. are good about vacuuming. I'm good about vacuuming. Mm -hmm. I so, hate to vacuum. Lest lest everybody think that I do no cleaning whatsoever. Uh, um, I I you I washed you, all the dishes. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah. Did you think there was a dishes fairy? <laughs> I usually throw out the garbage. You usually do all the boxes. So, I hate the boxes. Yes. Every time we, I cut myself. Every single time. Well, then you should not be doing that. Okay. Do you do that on purpose so you don't have to do that? No, no, no. It's it's not even the knife. It's the cardboard. Every time I get a cardboard thing. Oh, you're getting something. Oh, oh great. Michael signed Harrison up for basketball, basketball camp for next week. So we're getting, are we going to see every email? Yeah, uh, probably. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. So, well, we could probably go on and on about all the things. Yeah, you know, um, we have so much yarn things to see. So yeah, many and I think yarn that's... things to show. So many, so many yarny things. Yarny to show. things. Yeah, we do have a lot to talk about. So, we're... do you want to talk about what I'm wearing? <laughs> what you're wearing first? Let's do it. Okay. Wait, I want to be like Vanna White. Guys, I finished my knit a rainbow sweater. Look at it! It's so it's beautiful. It's so this is stunning. This is a knit a rainbow sweater by Kimberly MacAlinden. It is so good. Um, <sighs> ow. Ooh. You do that the last time. I did. I hit my elbow. Oh. This is the Chelsea Lux Duets in Cobblestone and Mohair. I should really go. I'm going to get one. You can see all those little nubbies and the the 
halo on everything. Oh, it's so good. This took two full skeins and a little bit of the third, which sounds like wah wah, because you need to get three, but you would have enough to do a really cute like cowl, cowl or, or hat with what's left over. Yeah, I have to show these because so, they're so gorgeous to look at. <laughs> Ooh, you're right it's there. It's about my <laughs> glass. <laughs> Ooh, that's oh, that's the worst. Um, so this one's called Candied Apple, but I want to show you. So thank God for your long arms. My arms are significantly longer than yours. When you get the duets, they come wrapped because people are always astonished by this, and then you separate <laughs> them. So you have the mohair. It's a miracle. And then you have <laughs> um, the slubby kind of yarn. So this is called her cobblestone base. And that's her mohair. Mohair. It's her it's so kid beautiful. silk. Uh, kid mohair, 72% and 28% silk. There's the label so you can see. And we have quite a bit of this coming in. Should be here pretty soon. Um... So I think Christina's done with it. You have to, um, we love it so much, you know, hold them double, which some people are like, Oh, I've never done that before, but this is the perfect thing to try because they stay together so nicely because of the mohair. You just, loved knitting it, didn't you? I really loved it. Can I just tell you that this <laughs> sweater is so, the yarn is beautiful, but the pattern is so nice and it's written really well. Kimberly McElinden is wonderful and we love her. And she's um, one of our faves. She's, she's, her patterns are really, really good. So oh. did you show these already? No, I didn't. This Go one's ahead. called Blue Lagoon. That's a pretty good color. It's gorgeous. We I mean, very... I mean like what it looks like on the screen. It's oh, very oh, good. Oh, it's, it's a really <laughs> beautiful color. I just mean it looks just like that. It does. It's yeah. Good. We are. Um, we changed up our location again today when we were podcasting. So I think that looks great. I think it does. This could be our new go to location. Right. This is Sunken Treasure. Can I eat? Glitter Treasure. Sunken Treasure. <laughs> um, oh, God. That's um, so pretty. It's yeah. beautiful. So we are Sweet. getting in. So keep a lookout because you know we'll post it. Is we this what Paula sees it? It could be. It could be. Very pretty. Paula's making uh, her ranunculus out of that and she is powering through she is a trooper yeah she's the only one what is she mean? the only one out of the class who stuck with their she... original their original yarn or that stuck with this yarn? oh that too but um yeah well uh, three three people i think we're going to do it with these and now they're going to make this two two of them right. are going to make this right so. but they saw justine making this it's it it did take a, a minute to get used to the knitting slubs. with the slubs. Hello. Oh. <laughs> okay. It did take a minute, um, but once I got it, it was it was a joy to work with. But this pattern, any DK weight would be really really beautiful. So I will absolutely be making this again. And Kimberly, I think it's an um, a separate pattern. She has a short sleeve knit a rainbow version, and somebody made it in stripes, and it is so cute. And I think there's also a worsted weight version, if I'm not mistaken, oh. because I think I'm not telling tales out of school because um, yesterday I was showing someone the pattern and I had shown Lisa a lot of patterns. We were trying to find something for her to knit and she saw that and she was like, that's it. Mm. That's what I'm gonna knit. It's good. I, Kimberly is a really good pattern writer. I'm, I'm um, testing a pattern for her right now which I'm allowed to show in a minute. Um, and so it's exciting. really well, she writes a nice pattern. So yes. there we go. I'm just gonna put this in. She will be making a guest appearance at Skein Yarn Shop and sometime within the next few months. Um, watch her podcast, Knit yes. a Rainbow. Knit a Rainbow on YouTube. Yes. I'll link it. But let's talk about what you're wearing. <sighs> it's a finished object! I feel I feel like the, you know, like there I'll should put, be music. I'll put oh, excellent, excellent. Yay. How about clouds parting and the sunbeams come shining Shh. down? Yeah. Uh, I don't know how to do that, but if I did, listen, call David. Make he sure you sing a it. song today so that everybody can guess what song it is. And I'll I won't. Okay? I, I have to be spontaneous with it. <laughs> uh, wait, so here it is. <laughs> 
for those, sorry, for those who have been following us for a little while, or actually months, <laughs> this is what I have been working on. And, and in the past month, I have been completely monogamous. You know, it's a, it, well, I'm not going to say anything because <laughs> no, I'm just going to get ridiculed. No, I was just thinking about the other day. You were like, I think I'm going to do this. And I think I'm going to do this. And I wrote, finish your shawl. Yes, I believe there was a text that said, if you do not finish that shawl by Monday, I am going to revolt. <laughs> that's what that, that. I don't think I would have said revolt. But you I, did. You did. I'll find it. All right. Of course you will. Yes. So here it is. This is Amber O'Brien's Lavetta. And I love it. And for anybody else, you could probably knit it in a week. But for me, it took months because, hey, I've got a lot going on. Oh, I did say I'm going to revolt. I'm sorry. You need to finish that damn shawl before Monday or I'm going to revolt. You're right. That's what I said. <laughs> and I'll have you know, this was not nice. On, on our notes, you put it under whips. <laughs> you did not put it under finished objects. I thought I deleted it. No, oh. I deleted it and put it under finished objects. What? I was like... I made that oh. list at 11 o'clock last night. She had no you faith did, in me. No, I made the list she, at 11 o'clock at she night. She had no and faith I'm, in me. Whatever. <laughs> is it blocked? It's not. Done. It is not blocked. <laughs> oh, just Shut kidding. it. Oh my, nice it is so long, which I love. Really long. I love it because it's long. Look at that lace in the, what was it? Um, Reaper's rags. Reaper's rags. Yeah. I made a good decision. So it, it's not been blocked. How come you didn't snip this? So, because I got in. Oh, you know what? I forgot to. Oh. So I wasn't, I was, I was asking if you were going to weave it in again or something. Um, what did you do? Just knit over it? Wait, is this the right side? Yeah. Oh, it is the right side. Oh. Where's that? Oh. <laughs> That's from where you added the second skein. All right. How there much you have it. Left of the, you must have a ton. Left I have a ton time. left of the Reaper's Rags. Oh, good. That'll be great for heels and toes awesome. and Awesome. It's a great color, so I don't mind at all. Mm. But I do love it. So this is knit out of Spun Right Round Tough Sock. And it's not tough at all. I mean, it's tough, the, but it's not tough. The bright color is called? Glitter Bomb. Glitter Bomb. Yes. It's really pretty, Lori. Thank you. I love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's bring it closer. I'm so For glad Stephanie you, Gale. I'm so glad it's done. Now you can cast on a new thing. I'm so excited to cast on something Look else. At, Look at Stephanie. Can you see? It's so good. It's a really beautiful, perfect thing. It is, and it's very easy. Um, it's good TV knitting, uh, and I love it, and I'm so excited to wear it. Yay. Yay. Let's see if I can put it on so that it looks halfway decent without a mirror. Oh, God. <laughs> now I'm stuck. So, anyway. Well, anywho. Happy foes. <gasps> so exciting. All right, well, we have some other foes that we didn't finish, but other people did for us, so we should show that. We should show them. Let's start with that one right behind Okay, you. so... Let's get Come Sally. on all over, Sally. Come on over, Sally. You haven't seen Sally in a while. Oops. Oh. Oh. There oh, she there is. Go. Look at her. Look how beautiful Look she, she is. is. Oh, did you bring over any Lannis? We didn't uh, even talk about that. No. Oh, that's okay. These are all the colors. <laughs> um, this is the Stratified Sweater by Tiff Nealon in the Worsted Book. Um, and it's in the yarn by Barocco. That's um, Lannis. It's a hundred percent, hundred percent non super wash non wool. Super wash. It's the wool. perfect, perfect yarn for this sweater. I mean, I know you know it's in the it's. Did you just say it's in the worsted book? Mm -hmm. So it's in Amy Gilles' worsted book, which is amazing, and we're sold out of it. But we will be getting more. Um, however, this is a great alternative to to. Um, Corey, her Corey. Um, it's non superwash wool. It is 1050 a skein. Look at that beautiful golden color. And that is the name of the color. Golden. Ah! <laughs> it's gorgeous. This yarn is really, really, really pretty. You could make a. Um... And this was knit by our very good friend, Natalie. Natalie. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Natalie. And. She's been such a good friend to the shop. And 
Um, she said she loved working with this yarn. 1050 a skein. It's a very reasonable sweater to 52 make. 50. There you go. Uh, no, because it takes two of the, the, I think the navy is considered the main color. So oh, I think one, it. One, two, three, four, yeah. Yeah. And so it oh, so takes good. two Look of the main things, color. So do that math. Hey, you know what? <laughs> what? I love Maybe it so Maybe this much. would be like a really good sweater for those people that hate making sleeves because you have to keep changing. You know what I mean? The yeah. sleeves still go. Yeah. So you're like, ugh, you know when you're done with sleeves? I don't know if any of you know that. <laughs> it's annoying to make sleeves. And by the way, we matched the colors um, almost exactly. I think the one color yeah. that was Did like Did we say it's by off. Tiffany Ewan? Yeah. Okay. But the one color that was like a little bit different, I think, was the gray. Was the Oh, gray. okay. But I just love it. It's so it's so good. And Tiffany Ewan loves it too. She mm -hmm. said it was beautiful. It's really beautiful. Hi Tiff. So thanks, um, Natalie. That was thank you so much, Natalie. Beautiful shop sample that she yes. knit in two People days. People are loving it. I know, yeah, that she knit in two days. All right, um, on to the next sweater. All right, we'll put this back here. We have. So who's this? Sally's friend. This is Sally's friend, Susie. There we go. Um, this is Shannon's <laughs> ranunculus. Um, Shannon knit this ranunculus out of one or two skeins of the mono the mono fino with the cashmere dreams by Lang, which we got it over there. Oh, I got it over there. So yeah, so these she, yarns are some of our most favorite as well. She, I love Fino. She held the Fino together with one of these little balls of cashmere dreams. And I think she used two of each, right? She made hers completely short sleeve. Right. Um, you'd have to do some math to figure out how much you need for your size, but that's what she did. She held these I'm together. I'm not sure if she needed. She definitely used she needed two of those. the second of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, and then, ugh. This oh color. my gosh. Look at that like this, beautiful taupe. This stuff is what Andra Imagine, calls the precious. Imagine holding those two together. That would be lovely. Oh. If you have never worked with Mono Stel Uruguay's Fino before, you are missing out. It is 70% wool and 30% silk and it is glorious. It's a really beautiful single. It sure is. It's nice and sticky. And this, this is the color Havisham. Mm -hmm. And this is Corsage. And I love it. It's Remember really when we got cool. it and, and we put it up on the wall and we were just drooling? Yeah. It's so good. It's really good. So so we had a ranunculus class taught by Natalie. And um, and Shannon, Shannon actually didn't take the class, but she wanted to make it. And, and she wanted to use... That she wanted to use the cashmere and what an amazing job she did because yeah, really beautiful. she's a beautiful knitter and um that class was a great success and we're gonna have some other classes which we'll talk about in a little while Ooh. so thank you shannon bye-bye sally no that's not sally that's oh, Susie. Susie, she's gonna get an identity complex oh, god all right we got one more finished object by a friend yes How's that going for you? It's just the motor. <laughs> <gasps> this is this is gorgeous. My friend Barbara Lyons, our friend. Yeah, seriously. Sorry. Yes. I picked out the colors though. <laughs> um, actually, I I picked out the colors to make kit options for this. Yes. And and I put it down on the table, like not on purpose, but like near her. It just happened to be near her, and I was taking the pictures, and she was like, did you make that for me? Give me that right now. That's for me. Anything with pink, she assumes is for her. Pink or purple. Pink or purple, but I have to say, you outdid yourself. This is really beautiful. This I mean, is the this, Hoo Hooey. Which is J-U-J-U-Y. -U -U and from it's Hoey Locatelli in yarn this. by Red Stag Fiber. And this is Josh Graff's. Which state fingering? Is this a state, a state fingering, fingering or is it the croft fingering? I think it's a state. I think it's a state. Um, it so this is, I don't know, I love this shawl so much. I am having one. That's one of my future cast on dreams. Oh, it's, it's really, it's like, it's just it's so, so wearable. Long. It's so long. Yes. And not too wide. 
Yeah, similar at its, similar to this. At its longest point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes yep. things way more wearable. Yes. Of course, I'm sweating my butt but off. But just the way the, <laughs> the way they... Oh, I think she said, too, oh, I wish I could remember. She's like, by the way, there's 137 nooks. And you know she stuck a pin in every one of those oh, little things. Oh, yes, she did. Out. Barbara loves to block. Barbara loves to block. So it's so beautiful. So thanks for sharing that with us. Barbara. Thank you so much, Barbara. She can whip out a shawl like no one's business. It's true. It is true. Beautiful. All right. Let's talk about some whips. Yeah, baby. Okay. <laughs> um, I didn't bring my granny striped blanket because it's, you know, I, I, I crocheted on it. I Maybe I'll put a picture in. Um, but it's like, it's interesting to me every, every little double crochet I put on there. Mm -hmm. But I don't think people really care to see just one row of a new color, you know? So maybe I'll put a picture in, but maybe not. We'll see. Um, I started all new things, okay? I was monogamous, so, which makes for a boring, which makes for a boring podcast for me. But. I was monogamous and finished this, and then I, we got some new yarn in, and I found a pattern for it. So I started this top, it's called the Seven Sisters Top by Sloane Lacasse, and I'm using yarn um, from Lang, another Lang yarn called Aura. And Aura is 81% bamboo cotton and 19% nylon. That has a fluff. This yarn has a fluff to it. It is a it's not a, it's a braided yarn. It's not a chainette, it's a braid. Um, and it is- Look at our nails. Ooh, we're so cool today. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're ready for Easter. It's so beautiful. It's really, really, really fun. It's really fun to work with. So I had started it and um, it's bottom There's up. another color. Look at this lovely pink. I love that pink. That's the one I, I was gonna choose, but I went out of my comfort zone and went with this one. Um, so it's a bottom up sweater, which I, it's a short sleeve top, but um, I don't particularly love bottom up sweaters, but it's okay. I love the top. Um, and it has five inches of ribbing at the bottom, Ooh. which is like, Ooh. so I finished the five inches of ribbing at the bottom, like fast, because I was like, I got to get to the regular stockinette and I have to go to 15 inches before oh. I separate for the front and the back. And I'm at 13 and three quarters. So I'm so close. You it feels see. so good. Look, see this little blue marker right here? That's where I was when I went to a movie, and then I knit from there to there during the movie. Because I didn't have my phone to distract me. So that's what I need to do. I need to throw my phone in another room while I'm knitting. Your phone to distract you at the movies? Well, like, I, you know when you're sitting and watching TV and you're like, mm, like you yeah. knit a little bit and then yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah. oh, I wonder what's happening on this. And then you look on and then uh, your time that. takes you You were in a movie theater. I was in a movie theater. Oh, you were? I was in a movie theater. We went to see Spider-Man because Michael wanted to see it on the big screen. So while and we I were in Florida, him. while we were in Florida, he, I said to him, do you want to go to the movies? Because we were with his mom. So I knew we could go out. And so he's like, oh my God, yeah, let's go. So I brought my <gasps> knitting, of course. And... It was just plain stockinette, so I just knit, 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 knit. And I knit almost four That's inches. That's a lot, wow. Yeah. Good the drape you. is like really good. It's like really. It's, I can't wait I know. for you to finish this. I don't think it's gonna be very long. I've been, well, I've been. Knowing you, it will not be long. Because I only started this like the day before I left for the trip, so. It's gonna feel, oh my gosh. I know. It's gonna it's, feel so good. It's really pretty and it's, I'm so glad we wear the same size. <laughs> it's really good. I like it a lot. So that's the aura, the and the and it's um, seven sisters top. Love it. Love it. I think what I I think what happened was when I was knitting at the theater, like this was the end of my skein, and I was like, ugh, can't attach a new ball in the middle of the movie. <laughs> Well, if anybody mo could, the mope it's you. Really, I would have gotten up and gone to the bathroom and come back. Excuse me, I've got to go knit. <laughs> okay. All right. So, for me, this is an old whip. But I'm proud of you. It will be finished for the summer. 
This is, this will be new for, for many people. This is Anker's Summer Shirt by Petite Knit. And I am doing it in Jillian Kittle's Ideal DK in the color, uh, which gray is it? You grind my granite? Yeah, is that it? I don't know. I think that's it. It's not graphite, because that's darker. So I think it is You Grind My Granite. I feel like that's what it is. Which, is that what we have over there? I think it is. Yeah, it's You Grind My Granite. Okay. What'd you do? I looked at the one over there. The one over where? Fingering me, the lighter one. Oh. Because I put them in the same order as over there. There you go. So, this is so good. Jill's yarn is so beautiful. It's so nice and squishy. And, oof, you gotta do 15 inches. Yeah. Still got a lot to do, which is why I stopped and cast on and, and picked up one of the sleeves. <laughs> yeah. So. But it's a sh short sleeve. It's short sleeves, yeah. So it won't take long. Remember our cups? I do remember our cups. Um, so, Jill's yarn is just beautiful to work with. I. I just love working with it. It and really is. It's so good. I've just got to buckle down and finish is really what it comes down to. Of course, it's on my barber, barber cord. cords. That's a good green. It is a good green. As if there's a bad green. Um, we don't have any more barber cords. We're out. No, we don't. Ooh, there's a hair. So, um, yeah. So, that's what I've got. That's, that's one, of, one, of my, one of my whips. It might be the only whip I have with me. Um, because... But I am going to cast on other things because I earned it for finishing this. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, yeah. So look forward to that, to progress on that. And Do you guys see that every time she hits me with the stuff? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what did I hit you with? This it's a sweater. <laughs> Hi. Every time. It's okay. <laughs> anyway, so, yep. Okay. Um, That's hold on. Fine. I want to grab a... Let me talk about that okay. okay so i cast on a sock because i did it on my birthday and it was that's my birthday. right oh my gosh but this is charlotte's baby necklace oh huh? did it break oh no she took it off when she was in the pool oh okay um so i cast on this beautiful sock by tracy miller of the grocery girls it is beautiful it's really beautiful it is in Yarn by Kemper. Of Junk of Yarn. Junk Yarn. It is in Rewind Barbie. And this was, That color is ridiculous. This was the yarn that I treated myself and said, you get to cast on whatever you want on your birthday, and this was it. So <sighs> it's a really beautiful sock. That is gorgeous. Sock. Um, it's interesting, like the whole cuff. Um, well, first of all, the the contrasting color is from my um advent oh okay calendar that i got from fangirl uh from malia made it um and i'm obsessed with this color who's calling me oh that's not happening <laughs> um sorry so Jill. the back of the whole sock is in ribbing the back of the cuff this oh. whole thing is ribbed <gasps> all the way down um which fits like really great it, it was not very fun to knit but yeah it was really great um, and now I'm just flying through this cute little thing. Somebody asked if I thought that this was going to bother me, this like cable on my foot. But the thing is that, I, first of all, I have, um, I've made the socks on a plain sock. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that? With the, it's yes. a smaller cable yes. and just the cable. Um, and that is an actual cable. But these are like yarn over things. They're not, like the yarn does never cross over. There's yeah. never a cable. It's just yarn over. What are they oh, called? Yeah. It's like a mock cable. So this is my left sock. Hmm. And I love it. Hello Sunshine by Tracy Miller. I love it too. I don't I don't know what I love more, the pattern or the yarn. Um, Oof. Knitting with Kemper's fingering weight for socks is just a dream. I love it. And I love this cute little detail to put like one you, I cast on in the dark purple. Can you see that? Oh. I, I just cast I on in the dark oh, purple. Oh, yeah, it's hard to see. 
There you go. I cast on in the dark purple. That was in the directions. And then the toe will be in dark purple. That's a cute we'll little detail. We'll have to make those. They're beautiful. They'll have to wait, though, because I'll be Too casting on yep. this. We'll get there. We will. Um, okay, so that's that. And then I have one more whip that I'm working on. And it is the test knit for um, Kimberly. It's, it's for a yarn shop called Blue Pearl. So the name of it right now is Blue Pearl Test Knit, mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's not gonna actually be the name of the shirt. Um, so um, for this shirt, I'm using mm. Chelsea Lux. See, there was the this wrong tag. This is one tag. of my favorite colorways. There was the wrong tag on the yarn. Well, I'm using Chelsea Lux, <laughs> but this tag says mohair because this was what was on the skein, but it wasn't mohair. It's her 801010 10 merino cashmere nylon base. Um, and it's called Stilettos and Jeans. And it's another bottom up short sleeve shirt. <laughs> That's what I'm doing these days. And I'll put a picture in because Kimberly said I can't. I can. Um, it has like a solid panel of stockinette mm. in the front and the back, and then two sections of lace going up the front and the back. And it can, it has options to be sleeveless or with sleeves, and I'm doing sleeveless. So this is the, and I'm holding two colors, doing two, one row, alternating colors. So this is the center panel here. And then this is one of the lacy sections. And it's like kind of like a, triangle shape with a big open center seam down mm -hmm. the back. And then there's a little bit for the side and then the same lacy section here. So the same lace section happens on the sides and in the back. It's beautiful. Wow. It's um, eight, eight repeats for mm -hmm. the lace. So it's like motivating. I try to do at least eight when I'm working on it. Mm-hmm. Um, which doesn't take that long, and the yarn is a dream. It's so good. It is it's gorgeous. Really beautiful. That color is stunning. The, the skeins were a bit different, so I always recommend, I don't know if they look that different right now. They do, kind of. Do they? I feel like this one has more, like, lines of um, colors. Yeah. Than the, yeah. But, so that's why I think it's really important with these kinds of things. I am anti-pooling. I do not like when yeah. yarn pools, so... Yeah. Um, and you do helical, is it? I, I would if it wasn't for the lacy oh, section. Oh, right, right, right. Because the lacy section, I was like, I can't, I cannot. So, um, yeah, it's really, it's really fun. It's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, so that looks Oh, look nice. at us. Let's go in. <laughs> no, yeah. that doesn't really work with us. No? Oh yeah, that works better. Okay, it's really pretty. Oh, so exciting. I know, so many exciting things. I can't wait to cast on 10 things. I'm so excited for you. Because then I'll have something to talk about on the next podcast. All right, friends. I needed to finish that shawl though. That's was... all my things. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I only brought three things today. Only? Yeah. Did you stick your tongue out? I sure did. Oh man. Shut up. <laughs> you sh no, you shut up. <laughs> um, okay, want to okay. talk about all the things we want to make? Yes. Let's talk about that. So many things. Um, all right. I bought yarn <laughs> to make the <laughs> Oxa by Caitlin Hunter. Yes. And I bought it in this color of Fashion Modern Tweed. I'll put a picture in. It's going to be so good. I'm not going to cast it on. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to cast it on. I have to finish other things. We'll see. See. Shut see. Up. Two weeks from now, we'll see what happens. Yeah. I will definitely have a lot. At, at a lot. least two or three things cast Good. on. I'm so excited. I am really excited. If you haven't yelled at me one time to scooch closer to you yet. It took a lot, actually. <laughs> I was really far <laughs> away that time. I, I, But it's because I was reaching to get the... At one point, I almost did. I was. I almost said, 
Get are you sure? Over here. Are you sure they're going to be able to see you? <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I have other things like, what does that say? Hunan uh, DK. I, I, I was wondering about that myself. That I looked at it. It says, it says, untangled crop by handmade closet in Hunan DK. I think that's what H -U -H -U -N -N. <laughs> I think that's and I, supposed to say I, junkyard. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> I got a new iPad for my birthday, and it doesn't know all of my my words yet that I that I type all the time, you know. So I was like, "Oh, that must be some yarn I don't know." <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see but the moon on. I can't believe she's casting something on and something we don't have in the shop. The nerve! I know. Oh God! It's gonna be in Hunan DK, also known so, as Junk Junk Yarn. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, I want to make I'm sure the makers of Hunan DK are really happy <laughs> you mentioned that. I'll tag them. Um, maybe if I ever become a yarn dyer, it'll be called Hunan. Well, now it has to be. It doesn't even make any sense. Anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, of course, I still want to make my love note in my beachy breeze. Um, every time I, like, start a new thing and I go into my yarn area and I see it, I'm like, ooh. It's so mad at me. Look how mad. <laughs> You're going to do it. I know. I just, it, it's like, I don't know. All these new pat. It's, I, it's, it's so, so difficult. I mean, I'm sure I'm not saying anything that people, the, the people don't know. And this is, this is what it is with social media. Uh, most particularly Instagram. Yeah. It's, I mean, especially for someone like me. Yeah. Um, it's it's it so just distracting takes you down a rabbit hole of all the things. It's crazy. And it gets and it gets overwhelming to the point where I have decision fatigue as we know. Yeah. Because I was all set. I thought by now my metamorphic would be cast on, yeah. which is one of my future cast on dreams, the metamorphic sweater by Andrea Mowry, which I am going to cast you already on. You were swatched for it. You're I, ready to go. Well, I'm in the middle of a swatch. Well. Um, but yeah, so that'll be I will most likely be one of my, one of my whips um, in two weeks. Some lady we'll the see. other day, a customer came in the other day and she asked me to help her find a pattern and I helped her and I said, are you on Ravelry? And she was like, no. Okay. She's like, I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. And I was like, oh, wow. Mm. What restraint? <laughs> what is that like? <laughs> my, my, uh, Michael's aunt, she doesn't have a Ravelry account for that, for that reason. She is a really beautiful knitter, but she loves written magazines or books for patterns. She does not go on Ravelry. Interesting. I just, I would miss it. That's like seriously old school. Yeah, she's definitely you know, old school. I'm, yeah. Listen, to, to, you know, in the interest of uh, complete transparency, we don't have a ton of, we don't have a ton. We have virtually no books the in books the shop. The books in the store are, are personal books. Right. They're not, right, they're not yeah. for sale. Well, I had worsted, which I will be getting more copies in from. We have some, yeah, something, and we have the booklets for. The right, we have some and... some Lang booklets and some Barocco booklets, but most people nowadays don't want to buy a book. I remember going into a yarn store once, like when when my sister was having her first baby, mm -hmm. and I was on Ravelry, but it was like it was it was. A long time ago so I, I went into this yarn store and I said I wanted to make a baby sweater and the lady was like let me show you the patterns and I went back to this table and it was like a eight foot long table with just boxes of patterns to like sift through and I'm like this seems, there's got to be a better way and yeah. there is it's Ravelry well the things that you can find in the way in the way you can see how yarns are used is just the best well it's the best we have I'm yes. Not, you know, I don't want to, <laughs> I'm not going to say much more. I don't want to, I don't want to alienate anyone. Okay. But, I, um, I love it. so, I mean, Ravelry can be a rabbit hole for me, but Instagram is just much, much worse, mm. much worse. Um, you know, just that scrolling and it's just so fast. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I do, I do love net, you know, it took me a while, but now that I know how to use Ravelry and, how to, you know, find patterns for a particular yarn and or yeah. find yarns for a particular pattern. It's um, something it's that so I much take, better. I take that for granted. Like I, I know how to use it so well that sometimes I take that for
for granted. Um, we've had customers that have come in and said, what can I make with this? And then like within a minute, right. I have a perfect pattern that's exactly what they were looking for. And they're like, how did you do that? I'm like, mm, Ravelry. Ravelry, I don't know. Um, on that note, I mean, we have had a Ravelry class here. It was ridiculously popular and we will do it again. But I think the next time we do it, it's going to be divided into smaller sections. Yeah, it was just too many people. It was, Lots it got, it got very rowdy. Yeah. Remember, Michael had to come drop off the chairs. Oh, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, yeah. That was that day, right? Yeah, that was crazy town. <laughs> what was I doing that I couldn't drop off the chairs? I don't know. I don't know. You were clearly you were doing no, something. I was you here. Might... That wasn't for that day. That was for something else. You were not. I don't think you were here. I feel like. Oh, is right. it I possible? Was were you away at your friends in Connecticut? Oh yeah, I was. That's exactly what it was. Oh. Look at that memory. You know my schedule. Mm -hmm. um, we got some new yarn in the store, and that's that's the next cast on of socks that I'm going to do. But I am going to be I'm going to be good and make sure I finish this one and start the second one before I cake up some. I wish I had my my. I, so I'm going my future Guys. cast on train. Ah, smile. Good. Okay, that could be our picture. Oh, there you go. Oh wait, wait. <laughs> Not sure about that. Um, freckled whimsy. Uh, it's 75%, 25%. It's 460 yards and it is so good. <laughs> it's so good. Okay. So this one, these are the two I bought. These aren't mine, but these are the two I bought the same colors. This one's called Oh Happy Day and Oh Happy Day. Look at this. Look at it. It's so good. <laughs> This one though, I'm obsessed with. This will be the next, the first one I, I do. It's Rock You Like a Hurricane. It's, look at it. It's so good, I can't even Yeah, if you stupid. want to see how these knit up, go to our Instagram, at Skein Yarn Shop, and I put most of the, I, I don't know, did I put 10 pictures up? I, most of the colorways that we have or had. Um, this is what I will be casting on. This is um, Champagne Supernova. Gorgeous. Um, we don't have this color anymore, I don't think. I think we do not. Out, we are sold out. Shannon made this, and I can't remember the name of it. It was, hold on, give me a second. It, it That is, um, is it first time for everything? Yes, I meant the pattern, though. Oh, the pattern is the Twizzler socks, oh, the which Twizzler is free. Sock. Twizzler socks. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, Shannon has... Plenty. This is a 20. I feel like I'm and that's like. Uh, <laughs> this is good television. Oh my gosh. Sing a song. <laughs> um, Shannon has so much left of this because it's a 20 skein, 20, 20 stripe, stripe repeat. And so she's got plenty left to do another pair. Um, she said she did use almost all of the mini that it came with the coordinating mini look at how cute it is it's so cute i will t so we have sold most of this yarn in less than two weeks and um i will be placing another order with carrie very very soon did that take a long time to come in no, no not she's at all fast, right she's very fast so you can expect more of that in the shop if if there's a color that you didn't get I mean, we still have not much. <laughs> we have six or seven colorways left. There's not a bad one in the bunch, and um, you can you can see what they'll if if you're making socks, you can see what they'll knit up like uh, if you go to uh... skeinyarnshop.com. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, didn't uh, Jess is making a metamorphic out of hers, right? I mean, not a metamorphic. Ugh. A uh, we're not. Uh, <laughs> what's it called? A, Oh my God! What's the hat? What's the hat? What's the hat? Musselberg. Oh my God! Oh yes, Ooh. yes. She's making a stripy Musselberg. Whoa, you guys! What happened? My brain. I don't know. That was but bad. did you suddenly get shorter, or are you purposely scrunching down? I'm not. I'm just. I'm very comfortable. Yeah. Mm. I think we should get recliners. <laughs> Could you imagine? Um, yeah. So Jess has this colorway, Champagne, Champagne Supernova. Supernova. It's so good. And that pink in there is so. It's, it's so lovely. Funny. It's um peachy, and I can wear that on my feet. I can't wear it near okay, my face. Okay, so you're gonna make the journey socks. I am out of going that? to make the journey socks out of this. Oh, you're gonna be able to make like 
a lot of them. three million pair. Have you guys seen the journey socks? Have you seen them? They're you'll put a picture in, right? I sure will. Yes, they're no show socks. And that's basically all I wear because I have cankles. So, so I wanted to tell you while we were talking about the journey socks. Yes. I've watched multiple podcasts now where people have made them. Yes. And and what do they say? What I'm gonna tell you is that one two of the people that, that I watched mm -hmm. said that they thought that they knew better. And so when the pattern said to do one thing, they were like, Oh no, I'm gonna do my toe the way I like to do it and not follow the direction of the side. I never and do the that. socks don't fit right. So Yeah, I never so, do that. Even I just if, follow the pattern. Even oh so what I was gonna say you is Kristen from We Share Needles, she yeah. was saying that she was worried because her ankle is is big so she wanted to make sure that it would fit so she added like extra things to try to make sure it would fit right because she's mm -hmm. thinking to herself like how the hell is this going to fit on my foot and she said don't do that right just so follow just the pattern following. exactly which is my favorite follow the pat trust the process trust the process so yeah we're obsessed carrie thank you so much i was so sad that that arrived while i was away <laughs> it arrived like the day i left right the it, the day after, the day I was after you left. So sad. <laughs> God forbid you shouldn't be waiting at the door at the door. Oh for well, Kenny so the like day this. before I left, <laughs> uh, the day before I left, a what box. We thought that that was gonna come. Oh, it's my batter. Sorry, oh, you should put it in your bag. We thought that this was coming that day. Remember? So then we did. Kenny showed up, and I ran to the door, and I like stood there and waited, and then he brought in boxes. Well, not only that, I hunted him down. He brought in boxes that I was like. <laughs> And then I came in and I was like, that's not it. I was so sad. You were it was, very it was, sad. It was, it was I a felt sad really bad. moment. It was I sad. felt really bad. Yeah. Um, yeah. Note to all UPS drivers out there. Don't give people your cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't abuse it. Mm -mm. But What's the float side? The float side is the newest pattern coming out from Wool and Pine Designs. Mm -hmm. So these are the peeps who did the sea glass tee and mm -hmm. the sea glass sweater and the sorrel and the summer sorrel. They design really, really awesome, well-written patterns. Is it a sweater? It is a top. It's a tee. I believe it's short-sleeved. I'm sure you oh. can make it um long sleeve if you would like and i'm sure some people will and i'm sure justine will put a picture when she edits but basically the front panel of it so it's called float side yeah so see that front panel <laughs> those are floats like when you do color work you have floats on the back that oftentimes you lock in except we don't do that we don't do that we don't do that and so they're showing the float side in this front panel, and I just think it's fantastic. And then there's also a Latvian braid detail. I know Kevin's going to be like, braid, <laughs> Latvian braid um, detail on the sweater as well. And they have the best tutorials. Huh. Um, so it's wool and pine design. I've never seen anything like that. You've never seen anything like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's totally different and unique. And I feel like all of their patterns are like that. Yeah, very, they are very, all unique. Yeah. But all very doable because of, I mean, they take you through step by step by step and they give you tutorials. I think the patterns are worth every cent. I've wanted to make the sea glass tea for a long time. I think I should get time. a percentage for, you know, shouting them out. So um, I've wanted to make the sea glass tea for a really long time. And. The so have I. Crazy sock lady, she is doing the one that's in DK weight, but mm -hmm. she's using fingering scraps held double. So she's like marling all of them, which is like such a it's it's a beautiful sweater, but even she's like, I'm over this. I'm over like the making of the sleeve part because yeah. you have to change like Every when you're row. doing the the big part, it's like not such a big deal to change, although it's a lot of ends to weave in. Right. But she said that the the videos for weaving in ends have just are just spectacular. What they have or what they've given is just really great. So I don't know. I feel like we should probably think about having a class for that. We'll see. Yeah. 
I'm not teaching it. <laughs> They'll all be, everybody be like, Justine, how do you tie in all these ends? I'm like, ugh. <laughs> Justine, will you do this for Justine, me? Justine, can you do? <laughs> Look it up. Here's a video. <laughs> Ask her teacher. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, anyway. So, what else? So, I talked about metamorphic. I, I, I'm definitely going to cast that on. Journey Socks. Oh, right. And then the other thing, which I am definitely doing, although it'll be a ways out, but as soon as the yarn hits the shop, I will be casting it on, is I, I want to make a summer, another summer tea, um, another lighter way. weight than the one I'm doing in J, um, Jillian Kittle's DK. Um, it, I want like something like the Kaiza. I really love that, the one that you made last mm. summer or the Willa tea, something, something along those lines in fingering weight. I will have it, and I am going to make it in, drum roll please, Moondrake yarn merino linen, which we will be getting into the shop. I can't even tell you how excited I am about that, but I, I have still been um, trying to figure out the colors. Yes. Um, a very lovely lady came into the store on Saturday, and she, oh, hi. They think we're, hi. <laughs> oh, At least they know we're podcasting. They know we're podcasting. <laughs> um, a very, very lovely uh, lady came in oh. yesterday to make, uh, and she wanted to make, or she, one of her options. I love it when people come in with, like, four patterns printed, and they're all stapled together. They're like, these are the four things. I don't know which one I want to do, but show me all the yarn for all of them, and then I'll make my decision. All the things. My decision. So she bought yarn to make a really cute cardigan for her grandson. Mm -hmm. But then she was like, um, I really want something with, like, merino and linen. I really want, like, a <gasps> moon drake. And I was like, oh! oh! Was um, she so happy? Yes. Oh, so my gosh. she showed me the Trelawney top, which I've seen before. Yeah. Um, and this is in Moondrake. Um, and it's so gorgeous. It, it is. It really is. Judy Olson has that, right? <gasps> well, Judy Olson has every pattern. Mm -hmm. It's like every time you go to her and say, have you seen this? She's like, <laughs> I've made that. She's like, doesn't she have oh, yeah, that? Oh, yeah, I have that. I feel like she had that in Remix. No, Didn't that's the Miss Arena. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, which could also be one of my um, that's candidates. That's beautiful. The Miss Arena. Which a lot of people made um, last year in Moondrake, mm -hmm. if you look on Ravelry. Yeah. So lots of options for the merino linen. I, it's 90% merino, 10% linen. And uh, super exciting. All right, that's so, it. So, oof. Let's talk about some news. Yeah, because there's a lot of it. There's a, there's a lot of it. So the first thing, can we talk about this first? Yes. Oh, God, I love you so much. Um, we both picked the same thing. So I want to talk about the fundraiser that we had for Ukrainian Relief and just say thank you so much to everyone who participated in that, who showed up. Uh, honestly, I, you know, at the end of the day, when I saw, you know, what kind of sales we did that day, you know, it was definitely not your average Saturday. I, I was you know, basically brought to tears at everybody's generosity. Um, People so, were from podcast yes. calling the shop or ordering online yes. and ordering um, any way that they could. So it was it was such a busy day, and um, we were able to donate over twenty six hundred dollars to um, Heart to Heart International. And let me tell you that that you know you don't often feel good writing a large check, <laughs> but that was a good one. So thank you so much, everybody. Um, I oh, couldn't I be the happier. Gooseies. I know. So I just, you know, that was, that was our most important bit of news. Um, and I just wanted to share that with everyone. Uh, if you didn't see, because I did post it on Instagram and Facebook. So thanks. All right. Let's quickly tick off all these um, classes. Yes. Ready? Beginner crochet. What do you know? What do I know? Uh, it's happening. We try to do one every month. Uh, I've gotten a lot of questions about it. Don't have a date yet. Stay tuned. Okay. Um, Stephanie's knitting classes are on Thursdays. Always Thursdays, 1030 to 1230, but she's here for a much longer time usually. That's right. Um, we love Stephanie. She is amazing. Uh, it's drop-in. You don't have to call the shop, but if you have a problem, if you can't figure out where you are in a pattern, if you need help figuring out how to do something in a pattern, or if you want to just learn how to knit, she is your girl. 
yes. from 30 to 12.30 on every single Thursdays. Thursdays. Stephanie, I mean, no, new class taught by Michelle. <gasps> this is a good one. I think a lot of people are going to be interested in this. Um, Michelle Brusso is going to teach Learn to Knit Continental. We've had a lot of requests for it. Um, I don't know. I, I Would you say a, major, a majority of people in the United States knit um, English style? Yes. I think, I think that's a fair assessment. Mm -hmm. So, but a lot of people see the way um, their friends knit or Europeans knit uh, continental, holding the yarn in their left hand, and they want to learn how to do that because... It's less wear and tear, I think, on your body. You're not you're not throwing the yarn. That's I mean, I throw. Well, people say it's faster too. Once yes, you get good once at it. you get going. So it's funny. I've tried. Like I, I've tried, and I just I go, <laughs> go back to my way. <laughs> well, I mean, that's I the think thing. I'm too headstrong to change my way. You have to. I mean, it's the type of thing where you have to be willing to practice. Otherwise, don't even bother. I will not be you, that person. Um, but I know Jen Cohen. She did teach herself. She, she, you know, I think she first learned English style, and then she taught herself Continental or took a class or something on online, mm -hmm. and uh, that is how she knits now, and she loves it. And 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 you know, a She's lot of people. Fast. That's just the way that they were taught. I mean, when I knit stranded color work. If, if you are holding the yarn in, in both hands, which that is how I was taught, then you are knitting continental with one of with your left hand. Um, so I do know how to do it. I, I, I'm definitely slower. Um, I don't, yeah, see, I drop my yarn. Yes, which a lot of people do, and it's like, who cares? Mm -hmm. You know, whatever gets the job done. It's not a race. No, well, it is for me. <laughs> Well, that's um, true. I was going to say, it's not a competition, but that's everything's true. a competition for Justine. So. Tomorrow night is oh. our Socks from Tubes class. Yes. And did you get that email today? I didn't. Oh, it's coming today. Oh, I have been sweating, sweating the Tubes arrival. But don't worry, friends. They're on their way. They'll be at Lori's thank, house. Thank goodness they're thank coming God. to my house. Yeah. So they'll be here today. Um, so we're going to get going tomorrow. I'm so excited. Oh, that is exciting. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have to do one more video tonight. Oh, you do? Yeah. No. Oh. She has have, worked very hard on this class. Like a little, it's going to be a great class. I have like a little tip for, a little secret for my friends taking the tube class. There you so go. there we go. Um, we have a beginner sock class coming up. Yes. Angie's going to be teaching beginner socks. So look out, look, be on the lookout for that. This is all going to be in the newsletter. Um, Juniper Cal Cat class. Yes, so we kind of decided um, Rachel is going to do, that, that is why I pulled this, and you know what, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to put it on, okay. so you can see how gorgeous it is. The Juniper Cowl is by T.L. Yarn Crafts. And this was made crocheted, look at all the crochet. By Shannon, yeah. In the Spun Right Round um, oh, look at me. Uh, mini skein set. It's Is that so the only cool. one we have left? We have two um, of those? I feel like we have two left of these, if you would like them, for this cowl or a multitude of other things. Mm -hmm. um, love it. Who's going to teach that class? So this is going to be Rachel. Oh, right, right, right. Duh. Um, Sorry, Rachel. I think after talking, question. and this could be after... Um, Saturday when I wasn't here, but I think Rachel was here, wasn't yeah. she? Maybe she, she's talked to a lot of people and this is the project that they want to do. So it's like an advanced beginner class. It's and a puff stitch. Yeah. That's what that's called. Thank you. Puff stitch. I just know it's gorgeous and Shannon made it for me. So yeah, it's great. There you have it. All right, so those are all our classes. Let's talk about some trunk shows happening. Oh, wait. Oh, oh no. It's okay. There's another sweater class. Oh, there's, there's another sweater two class. Sweater classes. Oh, that's well, one's already started. So, oh, okay. but we have another sweater class starting. I think it's going to actually be April 28th because I'm a loser and I haven't gotten um, I haven't gotten the stuff together. Natalie wanted to start it on the 21st, but I'm thinking it's going to be okay to start it on April 28th. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a stranded color work class, another st stranded color work class. And you can pick the sweater 
and Natalie has made several suggestions. So it's cool. going to be made very easy for you. Awesome. My hair is out of control. It's driving me crazy. Okay. I'm going to fix it, okay? Sure. You know um, all right. It's all tangly. Let's talk about our bestie. Kemper's coming, guys. Oh, yeah. Kemper is coming. So, And she's bringing a friend. She's bringing a friend. Yeah. She's great. Listen, um, all are welcome. Junk yarn. A junk yarn trunk show is yeah. coming to the store May 13th. For, she's coming on the 13th. I believe it will be May 14th and 15th. I think that's the Saturday and the Sunday. I will check on that to make sure we that will is confirm. correct. May whatever is when Kemper is going to be here. And she is going to be bringing a lot of things that we don't normally keep in the store. That's um, right. So that we can see all the different things. Yeah, 14th and 15th. Yes. So we can see all the things that she has going on. And you are and, not going to want mm -hmm. to miss it. And the samples that she brings and the trunk. Oh, my like gosh. The, the, the stuff that this girl is going to bring to us is going to be amazing. We're so excited. And just herself. Yeah, and she's coming. It's not just the yarn. Yeah. It's Kim. Yeah. It's our friend. All the way from North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we so appreciate it. And... We can't wait, and the oyster bar better be open by then, or I'm gonna lose my mind. So um, <laughs> that was kind of a song. So prior to yeah, Gina, what song is that from? <laughs> Lori's brain. Um, prior to hopefully Gina will be watching this Kemper's, through the whole thing. Um, prior to Kemper's trunk show, uh, trunk show, trunk show uh, is local yarn shop day, April thirtieth, yes. Saturday, April thirtieth. Happy um, local yarn shop day. I know. That will be so exciting. That will be our first local yarn shop day. Oh, my God. I'm going to wear my oh, T-shirt. We have so many exciting things coming. It's so good. Okay, so April 30th, local yarn shop day. What happens on that day? What happens? It's just, I think it was something put together by TNNA, which is, what is that? What is that? <laughs> um, the National Needle. The, is the T the? T-H-E? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. It's kind of silly. National Needle uh, Association? Sure. Whatever, I just made that up maybe. Um, so to celebrate local yarn shops, mm -hmm. which I think was an excellent, excellent idea. And it's been going on now for probably five or six the years. National Needle Arts Association. Needle Arts, I was close, so close. The T. So that will be all kinds of fun here. The fun never ends at the shop, actually. April 30th is close, man. It's really, really close. There's and a gift with purchase? There is there is a gift what? with, and it's a minimal purchase. Okay. It's going to be a gift with a $10 purchase. And a raffle. And a raffle. And a free pattern that's from. That's right. A free pattern from Casa Pinka <laughs> with the purchase of yarn. Yay. Yay. So, yeah. and I've seen it, and it's really nice. Because is it her local yarn Casa shop? Pinka. Pattern. It is her local yarn shop pattern, so it will be available um, with day. us that day. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that's something so amazing that Bronnie does, Bronnie Casapinka mm -hmm. does every year. And um, so we're, so all kinds of things. Free pattern with purchase of yarn. Raffle. Gift with purchase. Raffle. How could you not want to be here? Come see us. Yeah. Okay. Great. I guess I have to take that day to work. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Um, sorry, Michael. Um, okay. Hat not hate. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Before that. Okay. This is important. Mm -hmm. Um, May 2nd, shortly after, a few days after local yarn shop day, we will be having, this is, this is big time. Big. We, we will be having, um, a book signing and um knitting round table with Anne Hood um for those of you who are familiar with her she's a very popular author um from Rhode Island and knitter and it's a memoir and she is lovely and, and she's going to be here and read she's going to no she's not going to read oh, oh she's well. going to hang out and answer questions and knit. tell stories and knit and let me tell you I have been to her, I've I've seen her um, at an event, and she is an amazing. She's just amazing to be around. She is an amazing storyteller, um, you know, which is why her books are so popular. So this is going to be Monday, May second, 
530 and it will be limited to 35 people. So that is going to go up on the website tonight. Not exactly sure what time, but um, you'll know when I post about it on Instagram and Facebook. So if you want to meet Anne Hood and get your book signed and buy her book, which is called Fly Girl. And I would show it to you, but I'm using it to prop my iPad that I, up. So I, I, you know if what? I touch it, it will fall over and you won't see us anymore. Sorry. So, um, but, but stay tuned for more news about that. And you are going to want to snatch up a ticket and we're going to have snacks and who knows what else. Sign. Yeah, can I say that? There could be wine. So, cool, excellent. No hard liquor though, because <laughs> I could get out of hand. It in your Yeti. So, <laughs> well, listen, not no. Um. Okay. So I wanted to make note of that because it's a big event that we're having here. She's a local to us author, but she is internationally known. Awesome. Another great Rhode Island thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and you know what? This is just off the cuff, but people are putting stuff out for advents, holiday boxes, things like that, pre-orders, and we're not doing that because for us, it's too early. That's like, that's planning way too far ahead. But we will us. have one. But we will have one. So. And they will be pre-orders, but not now. But not now. They will okay. be in the summer sometime, and it's going to be Mm -hmm. so stay tuned okay well um the thing i wanted the most after all the yarn is this skein t-shirts Woo! well because you know I'm, like taking off my clothes i'm not really taking oh, off my clothes oh i thought that was like an actual song and this was part of the well it is an actual song i don't know the name of it but it's what you know it's what they played at strip joints a oh. million years ago I've never been to one. Uh, me neither, actually. But look! Guys, shut so up. So good! Listen. All right, friends. Yeah. When we were making this order, and we had done the pre-order, like pre, you know, everybody that wanted them before. Yes. The two of us were like, okay, we'll just order like five extra, of yeah. a couple sizes, and be done. Because that was poor plan. Whatever. Well, because the sticker shock of paying for them was yeah. initially like kind of a lot. So we only have a few extras. So if you didn't yeah. like say you wanted one and you still want one, call tomorrow, first yeah. thing at ten o'clock to get your shirt because um, people want them. And we are placing another order, and we're people keeping it the same. Yeah. There, crew neck. This is the dark charcoal, which is practically black. It's so cool. It's a really good color. And so comfy. Mm -hmm. And the and green. We also have a really... Should I go get the green one? Sure. Yeah. All right. The, the, um, my best friend has a restaurant in New Hampshire, and these are the shirts that she uses um, that she sells at her store. And I have one for her restaurant in every single color. <laughs> so picking the colors was actually kind of tricky. Um, both my old, my oldest son Harrison and my my uh, friend Becca, her daughter Maddie, were like, "Why didn't we get shirts?" And I was like, "I guess they could probably fit into an adult extra small." Here's the green. It's so good. This is the only green we have left. It's such a beautiful color. I love it. Comes with the sticker too. Yep, the custom ink sticker. Um. They're $25, 26 75 with, with tax. tax. Um, and they're great. So we're we're really I'm that's I've been waiting for this since the store opened. I know. It's so and there funny. it is. Stretch across my boobs. That's what we wanted. Okay, hat not hate. This is just a little extra reminder. If you um, are knitting and you want to make a blue hat um, for uh anti-bullying then please do so and drop one off it could be any kind of or send it to us or send it to us it could be any kind of hat it doesn't have to be a specific pattern however if you go to hat not hat hat not hate dot org there's a whole section of like 10 free patterns for hats and they're really cute as long as it's 75 percent blue you're good to go um and you've gotten several already and thank you very much 
Uh, we had another virtual knit night on the 28th of March. It was so nice. So much fun. Um, that was the fourth week of March, right? Maybe we should do the fourth week, week of April, but we'll have to see because that's a busy week. It's close to all the things, so we'll have to see. Oh, yeah. But we'll definitely do another one. We really enjoyed it. I think we it. might be able to do it, though. We've been doing them on Monday nights. That's our one day that we are closed, although we should make a little note because it's, get, it's getting there. I mean, you know, we're mid-April. Just a little note that um, our hours change. What's going on? I don't know. Oh, you know what? I think that change? I think they're pulling out the tables. I think Sienna's pulling out the tables. Oh, oh. oh so that's a really good sign that's that good sign. summer's it's coming. To be really beautiful this week. Yeah, yeah, it looks great. Um, so our Squirrel. sorry hours. <laughs> well, it's kind of hard to ignore the noise. Um, our hours will change slightly for the summer and we realize that summer is not here yet, but just to, you know, we'll probably be saying this, you know, if we remember on every podcast to just prepare people that we will not be open on Sundays, um, Memorial Day weekend through Labor Day weekend. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we cool. get a little more, just a little more R&R. &R Family work. time. Yeah. So uh, keep that in mind, but always open 24-7 on skeinyarnshop.com. Um, I posted a thing on Instagram last night about if you had any questions. And we got oh, questions. yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. Megan Rose. Is that Meg? Um, Meg Handrigan. She wants to Hi, know. Hi, Meg. Hi, Meg. What are your favorite fiber festivals to attend in the area or the Northeast U.S.? And I have to tell you a secret. I've never been to a fiber festival. How is that possible? Because I would be overwhelmed and I would probably cry. <sighs> well, that's true. I, I haven't. I'm trying to think. You've been to Vogue. Right? Oh, right. Right. So that's that's I those really are my want, I really would like to go to Vogue. I feel like I would. But I would go crazy. Here's hoping for next uh, January. You know, we were really hoping for this January, but yeah. Um, but I, I have been. Happen. I think it will. I think it will. I mean, Vogue, Vogue is fun. I mean. It's New York City. It's fun, mm. you know? Um, so I have been to Rhinebeck also. Only once, though. Rhinebeck probably... is really close-ish to Michael's upstate house. Oh, okay. Um, not, like, super close, but lot, like, like an hour away. Like an hour away. Oh, that's not bad. Um, so I feel like it's silly that I haven't done that. Um, I mean, it's huge. My brother-in-law is in... Um, they're from New Jersey, but he um, he just sent me a picture the other day of the New Jersey Wool Walk, which isn't a fiber festival. Oh. Like, he said, look what's happening. Is Chelsea Yarns there? It's it's uh, yarn stores. Oh, okay. Yarn oh, so it's, it's a yarn crawl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So Rhode Island used to have a yarn crawl. I did that. Many moons ago. I actually never did. Oh really? I, I I I never. I did that. They give you a knew stamp about it. And you can yeah, to all the places. Right, like a passport. Mm -hmm. Um, one of them was at the mill mm -hmm. in in Providence. Whatever that's Providence. Pro Providence. What Slater Mill? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And they had like a whole festival y thing set up inside, and that was cool. Like Katrinkles was there, and North Lake Fibers were, was there. So I feel like they still do something. I don't know if they do it um, on Knit and Public Day. Uh, oh, which is in June, the beginning of June. Mm -hmm. It's not the. Is it? Oh, you know what? I think it is the day of Samantha's shower. Well, I'll be knitting in public that day. Yeah, you will be. Wait, what? Isn't that public at the shower? Can I knit there or no? Oh yeah, you can. Oh my. I'm, what, I'm gonna tell you, you can't knit. Um, <laughs> I, you know what I, what I really love to do is, is like go to farmers markets, and sometimes there's like fiber things there. I mean, it's not a fiber festival, but like no, I, but it's you can get some nice yarn at yeah, those things. I just, yeah, I, I love, I love supporting people like that. Um, I'm, but I, Meg, never been to a fiber festival, but How embarrassing. Wait, isn't there one in? Oh, right. The New England, is it New England Sheep and Wool? Sheep and Wool. So that happens the first weekend in November every year. And I have never, every single time I have a conflict. Where is that at? It is at the Big E. It's where oh, right, they have right. the Big E, which is, what would you call the Big E? Like a, like a Never been to that fair. either. I've never been to that either. Oh, oh, we should go. It's fun. Okay. Um, Do the kids like it? 
Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Like a kid thing. Yeah, it's a kid thing. Yeah. Okay. Rides the whole nine yards. Yeah. Ben would be all about it. Oh my god. You know. So side note. Uh, my my nine year old is afraid of of roller coasters and rides and things. So over I'm vacation, fully supportive of that. We went to Bush Gardens, mm-hmm. and so Charlotte and Ben were like all about it. Like, let's go on the rides. And I felt bad because every like littler ride that Harrison would want to go to, he was three inches too tall. Aww. So they wouldn't let him go on the rides. So the babies had to go. Like I couldn't even go. Charlotte and Ben. Charlotte went on all these rides with Ben. <laughs> He was oh my like, gosh. you're fine. Uh, <laughs> but like, poor Harrison, like he doesn't want to go on the crazy roller coasters. And But Ben is like a crazy daredevil. So we're standing around waiting and Ben sees this roller coaster and it's it's mild, but it's a roller coaster. I mean, it is. And so he goes, mom, I want to go on that. So I'm like, okay, let's go. So we go over and I notice that he's like an inch and a half too short. So he goes like this up on his tippy toes. <laughs> They let him right on the ride. There was nobody there. They let him right on the ride. They put a thing around the bar yeah. so that he would be protected more because he was so skinny. So I wish they would give... So first of all, I I won't go on those rides. Like, I, I've been um, coerced. Oh, I love, I love roller coasters. Onto roller coasters. And sometimes they haven't been as bad as I thought they were going to be, but most of the time I was absolutely terrified. This one was so easy and really, really... Like, it, the... The thing about it was that it went like this, and then this, and then this. Flat, oh, okay. Completely flat. Oh, so okay. So it was more like it swung you around, which is that why they I put could the thing on. on him. Yeah. So we get to the end of it, and Ben's like, I want to do it again. And I'm like, okay. And he goes, can we try to get Harrison to go? Yeah. So I'm like, yeah. So I go down, and I, we say to Harrison, like, you, and Ben's like, you got to do it. You got to do it. You'll love it. <laughs> and he's like, Harrison's like, I don't think I can do it. And I'm like, buddy, I think I wouldn't tell you that you could right, do it if, right. if I didn't. If I thought it was going to be terrifying to you. Right, right. Like, this is the time. Because you don't have to be nervous waiting in the line the whole time. Right. Like, let's go do the ride. So we get on it. And the whole time he's like, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> and then we get back down at the bottom. And he goes to tell his grandmother, Mimi, who was there. And he's like, yeah, that wasn't that wasn't very fun, Mimi. And then, like, a minute later he goes, let's we, do it again. Can we do it again? Yeah. And I was, like, so proud of him. So Aww. he was excited to go and... Uh, do some roller coasters. Nice. But meanwhile, Ben was like, the yeah. ride that shoots you up 300 feet and then drops you straight down. Ben's like, can I go on that? I'm like, I don't think you can fake your way through that one, buddy. I can remember taking, um, going to Universal. We went to Disney and Universal with the kids. And I feel like Alex, she was definitely no more than six years old. But she was big enough to ride the big roller coasters. And, and she loved it every second of it mm. and some of them were terrifying yeah and I just I mean my heart was in my throat like please I love roller coasters I absolutely love them I, Michael gets yeah, dizzy no. so if he gets like if he does oh, yeah. too many he can't no. we went on the iron guazi and Michael and I went on it and the whole t- there was no line iron guazi yeah. what what even is that I have no idea that's a guazi I have no clue maybe it wasn't even guazi I don't know it was iron something I think you made with the G. Up. no it is I took a picture. I'll put it in. Um, it's the fastest, steepest roller coaster ever. It was amazing. At it was Bush so Gardens in the whole world. Are you sure? Swear to God. Okay. No, no, no. We'll find out later. <laughs> oh God. It was so good. Iron Guazi. How do you spell Guazi? Form. Yeah, right there. G W A Z I. Bush Gardens. Wait. The world's fastest and steepest hybrid <gasps> coaster. All right. I'm telling you, it was awesome. All right. It was. It had so a max. For, speed so for once, of not 70, hard, not hyperbole. A max speed of seventy six miles an Holy hour. Crap. And it opened March eleventh, and we were there <gasps> March. Oh my like, god! Yeah, so it, it like just right, opened. Right, right. Yeah, it was insane. It was a minute and fifty seconds long. It was a really that long is ride. A minute and fifty seconds too long. It was so <laughs> good. Oh my it god! Was so that good. sounds horrific. Yeah. Um. Great. So yeah. So back to the festivals thing. I, yeah, I don't know have how a, I have a um oh because we were talking about the biggie. Um I am planning on going to Rhinebeck this year. I'm super excited about it. I'm hoping you can come with. Okay. Maybe we all go stay up at Mimi's. Oh, that's a great idea. Jeremy and David will be in their house, so there's extra space. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Um 
so other stuff, I mean... Samantha Land is home. Samantha Land is home. For those of you just joining us... Um, and sticking around this long. <laughs> yes. Uh, like, no, but if you've never watched the our podcast before, my daughter, who's 24, Samantha, is getting married September 17th. So, hence, another really, really good reason why I don't get as much knitting done as I wish I would, because... There's just a lot going on, a lot. And today we're meeting with our wedding coordinator, whom I, I've done all the big things, but now I basically hired someone to manage me. Just do all the rest, lady. You do <laughs> and to manage else. me. Um, so there's just a lot going on. Yeah. And uh, which is great. It's it's wonderful. It's a this is this is not a problem. This no, is this it's is okay. a, it's just this a, is just oh, what's going on. This is, this is just what's going on in in my life. And so uh, Sam's doing a wedding dress fitting this week, right? So I think she's just going to. It's not going to be a fitting for alterations, but the wedding dress is in, and she is home, so she will be trying it on her That's very exciting. own dress. Yeah. That's so exciting! Super exciting! Yeah, because when you get to put one on that actually is your size, it really is different. Yeah, yeah, so I'll be excited to see her in it again. Maybe and, you'll cry this time. Eh, probably not. Um, <laughs> no, believe me, you know, based on what we've seen recently, I'm probably going to lose it at the wedding. So, yeah, so that's what's going on, and Alex is slogging through school. <laughs> She's a senior. Senioritis, man, Oof. that's a real thing. Yeah, I had that. that is I was a, like, oh, that. so did I. So did I. I just yeah. had music things that I had to do at school that Alex isn't involved in, like, music through school anymore, right? No, she's she only with outside, Rip Yo, so yeah. For me, that was what got me to school as a senior, was all the music stuff that we had going on. Yeah. Plus, it was a whole different world. There was no COVID. That's right. There was, you know, there was no, she's, no she's COVID. She's gotten real screwed no COVID, no senior experience. As out of a Well, she had it. She, yeah, yeah. Out of a high school, high school experience, for sure. Really been not. Yeah. I feel bad. But this, but she had it better in terms of senior year. She's had it better than her the last cousins of years. had it. Yeah, because yeah, she had three cousins that really missed a lot. So, mm -hmm. uh, so that's I guess that's I that's probably not it. But um, oh, I pulled these. Oh. Do we, eh, that's all right. Next time we're good. Next time, yeah. Because this is probably our longest podcast this ever. This is a long one, you guys. That's what happens when, for when you don't podcast around. for a month. Thanks for sticking around and watching with us. If you did. If you did. If not, hi, Kristen. Hi, Becca. Um, <laughs> hey, here's something. I always like to have people say people drop ideas in the comments or questions mm -hmm. and stuff. So, Oh, we're at 975 <gasps> subscribers. Oh, that's right. There hasn't been a giveaway because... We We're haven't so reached close, a thousand guys. subscribers yet. We're so, so close. If you know anybody who would would love our podcast, let them know. Let them know. Tell them to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. We really, really appreciate it. We're also Marlene's at, gonna hate this one. You know, An yeah, hour and twenty two. We lost we lost Marlene a long time ago. Um, <laughs> So, uh, yeah, like, like, subscribe, and share. We really, really appreciate it. Harrison is going to be so mad that we oh, waited until now I to know. Talk about we didn't this. do it at the beginning. Maybe we'll have to our, insert our, bis our business manager. Yeah. My nine year old, he's yeah. like, Mom, if you don't tell the people that they need to like and subscribe, you're not doing it right. <laughs> and I think he's right. Oh, God. So, it's been so nice, even though. This is taped, but we know um, we'll be connecting with some of you. But, oh, what I was going to say in the comments, okay, planning the shower, planning Sam's shower, what are truly fun and interesting things that people do at bridal showers nowadays? Like games? Mm, yeah, I guess. If it's a good game, it needs to be good. There just to be really good prizes just, to give out. That's what you just, do. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, all the right. The only reason people want to play it, uh, a game is because they want to do a prize. Um, yeah, okay. Or just, like, good ideas. Oh, but like, you don't I want know... to do, like, bingo or any of that nonsense. No, so, no, like, no, you could no. set a timer while she's opening presents. I don't and... know if she's going to open uh, presents. I don't know if people do that anymore. Well, if you... Um... Especially because it's going to be at a restaurant? I don't know. Yeah, I do did, it. but that was... Well, so Almost if you set a timer ago. as they're opening presents, if it goes off while she's opening your present, you get a gift. Oh. That makes it fun for 
while people are and and you don't tell the people how many minutes it's going to be the time for setting another the timer although you'd have to shut off your all your other timers. <laughs> all my other alarms <laughs> <laughs> Email Barocco. Uh, no. God. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That's that's a fun way because, I don't know. My grandma was really funny because one of my girlfriends had a shower and she didn't want to open presents. It was a baby shower and okay. she didn't want to open presents. So her mom said to everybody, wrap it in like clear cellophane so she could look at the stuff. And my grandma was like, uh-uh. It's getting wrapped in baby presents. She could open it like a real person. <laughs> and I was like, grandma. She, was, she felt really strongly about it. Clearly. <laughs> so oh, funny. gosh. Yeah, I don't know about the whole, you know, give an opinion about that. Yeah. Seriously, drop it below. How do you feel about opening presents at a bridal shower? I feel like some people love it, some people hate it. I mean, it. bridal shower things are are not as interesting as baby opening shower, shower baby things. Shower stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I agree. Mm. I agree. I opened them at mine. I just I was, feel like we, was there needs to be, I feel like there needs to be something to do. <laughs> yeah, without so if you like have a... Any, ideas about that please let me know i'm kind of desperate did you do any like recipe things like ask people to bring a recipe no no well the the invitations haven't gone out yet so there's well we'd have to stick a little a little uh piece my, of paper for my there. sisters i got custom made invitation or recipe cards that said from the kitchen of Kristen parker and made little recipe cards and we stuck those in the invitations very nice i believe i have gotten um invitations like that with something and it's a very good idea it's actually it is a really good idea yeah, that's a good idea. I might do that. Um, I don't like being at a wedding sh or a sh any kind of shower where they're like, write a note of advice. I can't. No. I can't. Because no. then you get, I mean, although I will say I enjoy having things like my mom wrote, um, my sister did something like that with like an, a, a cutesy little card for Harrison's baby shower. And I do think that those are special because people that have passed away, I have theirs. Oh, so yeah. those are special, yeah. but me as the person at the shower, I'm like, Ugh, yeah. I don't know what to write. <laughs> don't kill your husband. <laughs> right. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not good at that. As long right. as there's a gift that I can win at the shower, I'll have a fun time. But if I don't win, I'm going to stomp my feet. <laughs> that wouldn't be the first time. Mm. All right, kids. All right, friends. Thank you. Thank Thanks you for so sticking much. Around. And we promise it won't be so long until the next one. No, it won't. Two weeks. Two weeks. All right. Bye. Bye.